Saints fans, this is the reason why you subscribe to our video. We provide breaking news ASAP Rocky. So before I get into the breaking news around Jameis Winston, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications because there's going to be a shit ton of stuff that happens this offseason. And I don't want you all to miss anything. So what are you waiting for? Hit the sub button. Breaking news here, the New Orleans Saints have re-signed Jameis Winston, which if you've watched the show for long enough, you'll know that I actually believe that this is the smart decision that New Orleans ended up making. We'll go through everything that impacts this, how much he got paid, the guaranteed dollars, all the full details that you need to know. Tom Pelissero was the one that ended up breaking the news on Twitter. The Saints are re-signing quarterback Jameis Winston to a two-year deal with a base value of $28 million, $14 million a year, and $21 million guaranteed. So essentially, they miss out on Deshaun Watson, and I get it. I know a lot of y'all wanted Deshaun. However, this is kind of a good plan B, considering the fact that you know Winston can win here, and he's much cheaper than what the Browns gave up for Watson. So Winston, I actually was very impressed from what I saw from him last season. Still recovering from the torn ACL that he sustained in Week 8, but he spent the past two seasons with New Orleans. And, and in the seven games last year, the completion percentage can improve, and I think it's going to improve. Hopefully you get back Michael Thomas. Definitely that's going to help the receiving game a little bit. But 1,170 yards, 14 touchdowns, three interceptions. He was impressive from the moment he stepped onto the field week one and the Saints took care of business up against the Green Bay Packers in a 38-3 win. Jameis didn't turn the football over. He relied on his skilled position players around him. The Saints were 5-2 and two before Jameis ended up getting hurt. So go ahead, show Jameis a little bit of love here. I want you to go ahead and spam those twos down in the comments. I know Trace was really excited when this deal went down. He like literally started clapping. Big time Saints fan effect. He actually brought in a whole bunch of King's Cake today. So if you guys could, hopefully James doesn't steal it. Hopefully if you guys could, if you're excited about it, go ahead, type those twos down in the comments. Now Winston, I really truly believe that he's been the favorite to be the QB1 for New Orleans the entire offseason. The moment that he was a free agent, I said on this show, I've said on multiple chat sports shows, it just simply made sense. The fact that the Saints didn't have a lot of money to be able to work around with, they've done a phenomenal job getting back above now into the positives in terms of salary cap space. But you saw this team fall apart. And Jameis gets, gets the raw end of the deal a lot of times. Right in 2019, threw for 30 touchdowns, 30 interceptions. Leaves, Tom Brady comes, the Buccaneers end up winning the Super Bowl. But as it stands right now, this is a very, very intriguing move to me. And it's always been the move that I thought ends up going down. So how could you not be excited for Jameis? This has been somebody, so since he's been drafted number one overall, it's been a roller coaster ride for him. But all that matters and all the time that people talk about is quarterback wins. And the Saints were 5-2. and two. They were marching. When you have the defense that they have, the fact that Jameis was put up the numbers that he did without their top option, and let's just be frank, New Orleans wide receiver room last night was nothing to be very excited about. Jameis won over the locker room. He won over a lot of the fans, and he's always had that leader mentality. Even since his days back with Florida State, even his time at Tampa Bay, all the guys that talk about Jameis have always said he is a leader and he could be somebody that you can rely on when it does get tough. So if you guys haven't yet, seriously, y'all, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers here on Saints Today. So you see that link down there below, youtube.com slash Saints Today. If you are a fan of the show, send it to some friends because the more subs we get on these channels, the more videos we can go ahead and pump out. So the fact that Jameis is coming back here to New Orleans, actually I would say is a pretty good news because when Deshaun Watson decided to go to the Cleveland Browns, I was like, oh man, I'm not really too sure what's going to be the next step here for New Orleans. And I want to know from all y'all, definitely curious. I know people down in New Orleans, they like to the party. Are you excited to have Jameis back? Go ahead and type that Y for yes. Or I want you to go down to the comments section right now and type N for no. Remember, you're bringing him back on a two-year, $28 million deal with $21 million guaranteed. The reason why I'll simply say that I am excited for New Orleans to bring him back is because 
you could have Jameis or there were some other options out there. You had Jimmy Garoppolo was an option. However, when I see the reports that the 49ers want two second-round picks for Jimmy Garoppolo, I almost laughed, spit out my water. Then you see somebody like Baker Mayfield. I'd actually might rather just have Jameis Winston over Baker Mayfield. And then the other thing is this. The division, the Atlanta Falcons, they just traded away Matt Ryan. So Matt Ryan, he goes to the Indianapolis Colts. All they got was for a third-round pick. I believe you're about to see a major, major rebuild going on in Atlanta. Carolina's got Sam Darnold. I ain't worried about them. So here's an opportunity where you bring back a quarterback that showed that he could win and I believe that this season, you're going to have a better football team from top to bottom. Sure, you're going to miss out on a few key pieces here and there. It sounds like Teron Armstead's going to end up signing down in Miami. At least that's where he's visiting today. But for Jameis comes in, you have back Michael Thomas. You Hopefully your offensive line can still hold up. But the Saints have a top five defense. And realistically, you're only going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And if I've seen any team have Tom Brady's number, if I've seen any team have Tampa Bay's number since last year and even the year before that. It's been New Orleans. It's been the De Dennis Allen defense. So I like this move a lot. I think it makes a lot of sense from top to bottom of why they decided to go ahead and bring back Jameis with all of his rap, uh, with all of his rapport with all the players that ended up going down. So our job here is to be able to keep you guys up to date on everything that goes on around New Orleans. The fact that they went ahead, they brought back Jameis on that two-year, $28 million deal with $21 million guaranteed. Also, the Atlanta Falcons have just went ahead and they just made a move for a quarterback. Marcus Mariota, the former Raiders quarterback, is now also headed to the NFC South. I believe that this does not take them out of the idea of being able to take a quarterback at number eight. But what I do see is this. Now you got Sam, now you got Mariota. This division continues is getting to get better. So let's go ahead, let's eat those W's for Jameis. Go ahead and start spamming W down in the comments. That way we can go ahead and eat some dubs because I really truly believe if New Orleans can just have that top defense, if Jameis doesn't turn over the football, if Michael Thomas can be healthy, we'll see what happens around Alva Camara. I know we're going to keep you guys up to date. So whether it's around free agency, trades, the draft, this is the channel for you, and hopefully Jameis Winston and the Saints are eating a bunch of W's this season.